Our final model for this unit is the box counting applied dot n logo. When you download this from our website, it'll be in a zip file that has a folder with this model and two pictures. So let's start this up. And here's what it looks like. So this is similar to the other box counting model, except now we have two preloaded pictures, a coastline and a tree, and you can put in your own image to do box counting on. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's start this up by choosing the coastline. So I do setup. We get our picture of a coastline. Here I'm going to set the increment to be 1 and the initial box length to be 10 as before. Do setup. And there's our initial box and it's going to count boxes that contain these black pixels that make up the coastline. So let's look at this. It's creating our straight line of points. And here we don't have a Hausdorff dimension, of course, because this is not a mathematical fractal. It's a picture of a real world object. So let's stop this now and find the best fit line. And we get 1.376. And how does that compare with what other people have measured for the coastline of Great Britain? Recall that the published value is about 1.25, so we're a little bit off. But if we started with a smaller initial box length and a smaller increment, we could probably get closer to that. So that's something for you to experiment with in the exercise following this video. Now you can also try computing the box counting dimension of the tree. So I do set up to get the tree picture, which is just a picture I found of a fractal looking tree. And now I do box counting set up and go. This could take a while. It's got one point. Now it's got two points. This one you really have to go away and have your coffee while it's running. But you can run this for a while and try to see what the fractal dimension via box counting is of this tree. Now, if you want to put in your own image, that is some image you find, you need to read about how to do that on the info tab under uploading images.